Radiant cooling won't work in a hot and humid climate, or will it? The passionate debate among engineers designing an Infosys office complex in Hyderabad, India, ended in a split decision. Build one wing using conventional forced air and another identical wing using hydronic in-slab radiant cooling. And so began the construction of the Infosys Software Development Block 1, or SDB1 for short, the first radiantly cooled building in India and the world's largest side-by-side -side HVAC comparison. Rayhow Rating Cooling Specialists supported the project engineers from Integral Group and Arco Engineering during the conception phase and throughout the design of the Radiant system. To keep pace with the ambitious construction schedule, Rayhow helped to train local workers to prefabricate Radiant cooling modules on site. They tied pipe circuits to metal grids and made secure connections using Rayhow's compression sleeve fittings. Individual circuits were connected to Rayhow manifolds designed to supply fluid at a temperature of 57 degrees Fahrenheit or about 14 degrees Celsius. 230,000 feet or 70,000 meters of Rayhow O2 barrier PEXA pipe was integrated into the large thermal mass of the concrete slabs. The configuration in the radiant wing of the project also incorporated a dedicated outdoor air system or DOAS mainly to supply fresh air. Conversely, the all-forced air portion called for six air handling units to meet the required load. This helped save considerable space and even reduce the initial costs, which came in slightly lower than the all-forced air installation. And as we're going to see, Radiant also reduced operating costs while improving thermal comfort. Since opening in 2011, Infosys SDB1 has provided a wealth of data and definitive answers on how to optimize cooling in the built environment. Measured data was taken and occupants were surveyed to discern not only energy consumption, but also the effect on the occupants and their perceived satisfaction with the space. The Technical University of Braunschweig in Germany performed data analysis to compare the energy consumption of the radiant and VAV wings of the building. Test data showed that the radiant cooling reduced energy consumption by more than one-third. When we look at the energy consumed by each system component in the conventional and radiant designs, the most noticeable difference is the reduced chiller capacity required by the radiant system. This is illustrated by the large blue sections of the bars. We also see that although the hybrid radiant design used a wider variety of equipment, it operated much more efficiently than the conventional VAV design. The air handling energy consumption illustrated by the green area on the, the conventional bar on the left is transformed into a much smaller air handling demand on the radiant bar on the right, beginning with the gray DX unit and continuing to the top of the stack. In addition to energy savings, the radiantly cooled wing also rated higher on thermal comfort. An independent survey of the building's 2,500 occupants conducted by the University of California Berkeley's Center for the Built Environment found that cooled surfaces helped to lower the perceived temperature of the occupants even though the actual air temperature was several degrees higher. Occupants in the radiant wing also expressed greater satisfaction with 63% selecting satisfied or very satisfied in the radiant wing versus 45% in the VAV wing. Log data allows us to take a deeper look into thermal comfort. Available data include, included air temperature at various heights in the room, the mean radiant temperature, relative humidity, and operative temperature. Operative temperature is very important to the study of perceived comfort within a space. It combines many space characteristics to best approximate what occupants actually feel on their skin. Operative temperatures for specific days during the cooling season were plotted on this graph. To stay within the occupant's comfort zone, designers targeted a maximum operative temperature of 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit, or 26 degrees Celsius, therefore staying out of the upper red band on the graph. While the radiant system stayed within the defined comfort zone, the conventional VAV system deviated slightly, showing elevated temperatures in the afternoon. With SDB1, Infosys proved to itself and the world that radiant cooling not only works in hot, humid climates, but also has significant advantages compared to conventional forced air systems. Radiant improves comfort, lowers HVAC energy use, and reduces initial costs. SDB1 has been awarded LEED Platinum by the Indian Green Building Council. It has transformed building standards at Infosys, and because the system did not require any payback due to the lower initial costs, they have already begun more projects, including similar radiant cooling designs. 
As a global leader in radiant cooling technology, Ray Howe is ready to help you integrate the efficiencies of radiant cooling into your next HVAC system design.